Hey, what's going on, Saturday Nation? You know, I wanted to share something with you. I'm looking at the, uh, the podcasting screen on my computer here, and I had a thought when I was driving into work today, and I thought, um, I might do a golf podcast. And I've never done any other podcast other than the Everyday Saturday show that I've been doing, you know, since 2005, pretty much. And I thought, I love golf. I'm obsessed with it. I've got from a 33 handicap to a 12. You know the whole story. I share it all the time. Not a big deal. But it really is my sanctuary away from the office, away from the house. I can't get enough of the golf course. And not even because of the game or being a member of a country club. That's not it. It's the therapy. Maybe some of you like to, uh, you know, my friend Sam Kaplan, you know, Sam loves to ride horses. Other people love the beach, the ocean, hiking. For me, it's the golf course. And I thought, you know, I tell everybody all the time, do things you're really passionate about. Take a shot. So I'm driving into the office today and I'm thinking, why don't I just do a golf podcast and talk about and call it Breaking 90. And for those of you that aren't familiar with golf, you know, if you shoot a 90, you're 18 over par. But Breaking 90 feels different for the the average weekend golfer. You know, you shoot 93, 95, 100. Eh, you shoot 88, 85. It's like, wow. Yeah, you feel so much better. I mean, let's call it breaking 90 because most hackers on the weekends love to just break 90 for golf. So I started looking, and this is what I want to show you right here because I started doing what I would tell a client to do. Well, get on iTunes and just see what's out there. Not that it would you know, tell you whether or not to do it, but just see what's out there. So over here, if you can see in the search, I typed, I typed in golf instruction and up came these podcasts. And as usual, you've got one, let, let's take a look, that's pretty relevant. It, they do a regular show. They did, they've done two this month. Keep in mind, today's the 13th of December and they've only done two. In November, they only did four. Maybe they got a weekly show. Yeah, about an hour long. Okay. I don't even know who this is. Uh, Claude Harmon, probably some relation to Butch Harmon, the famous instructor. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, number two podcast hasn't been updated since 2018, and there's only a few of them. That was over, that was close to four years ago, but over three years ago, three and a half years ago. Okay, well, that certainly isn't relevant. So now my mind's turning. Geez, what if I did one? Um, you know, golficity. I'm just, I'm clicking around. May of 2020 was the last time this one. Guys, these are in the top five, Okay. For a really big keyword over here called golf instruction. So here's one that a year and a half it hasn't updated. So I'm thinking, hmm, mine would be fun. I'd also create probably a YouTube channel around it and I would interview. I don't do interviews on my Everyday Saturday podcast unless it's a coaching client or like a well known name or something like that. And I thought, you know, I'll do interviews and we'll talk about breaking 90. Like, what did it feel for you and how did you do it? Mine's all about mindset. You know, my method is all mindset driven in golf. Uh, but I think that'd be kind of a cool show for people. You know, there's wine aficionados, cigar aficionados, photography, you know, people who re like totally live for that stuff. And people who live for golf, this might be an idea. So I'm sharing my screen with you and I want to show you because inside of our community here, a lot of people want to create a podcast or maybe you have created one and you're kind of uncertain, you know. The audience is already there. It's built in. It's organic on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, all over the place. And if golf instruction, which is a really, really big, I think, keyword to play for, if you were to look at golf, and I, what I would really want to play for is golf mindset. That's something I would probably want to really play in. Uh, let's take a look there. This is where I would want to rank. You got the golf psychology podcast, number one for that keyword. Okay. They did one in December, one in November, two in October. Nothing, no competition whatsoever. And that's golf psychology number one. Earn Your Edge, June 17th was the last podcast. And then there was one in May, one in April, nothing. Um, golf Science Lab. Let's take a look. November 25th, there's nothing, guys. There is zero competition for golf mindset. And I might play in that. Wouldn't it be funny? You know, I'm not a sports psychologist. I'm not a scratch golfer but I'm somebody who has a lot of passion. How fast do you think I could start getting thousands of downloads in this niche? I don't know. Maybe I fall on my face, you know, or maybe it explodes and turns into one of the top YouTube channels. YouTube is way more competitive for golf because it's visual and people can see it. But the mindset part's kind of a cool thing because you don't need to see somebody talking necessarily to get the mindset. Maybe I do a mindset minute for golf. Oh, 
you know? So this is where my mind goes to kind of build a, a movement and kind of build a message. I want to share it with you guys to encourage you that no matter what keyword you're playing in when it comes to podcasting, there's no competition. Never has been, never will be, because it's just something where people try it, like most things, and they just abandon it. And like, oh, you know, it was neat. Look at my picture. Yay, I've got a photo. And it looked, you know what I mean? But if you really want to make a lot of money doing it and you want to be successful and leave a legacy, stick with it. And, uh, and be consistent and do your own research. Just do what I do. Open up iTunes, type in some keywords, see what the competition's like. It wouldn't deter me even if there was, you know, millions of people here doing great. It'd be like, now that confirms that there's a market for it. That's even better. So you can't lose. If there's already great competition and it seems to be saturated, well, the market's been proven. You just got to carve your little space out. And if there's no competition, giddy up, baby. You know, so I hope this inspires you to launch your own podcast. And of course, uh, if you need help and you want me to do it for you, just let me know and we'll do it together. It'll be a lot of fun and you'll be another client success story. All right. You guys have a great day.